Hey guys, we are back with part 10 of Dark Souls Remastered with me, Grim Reaper, once again. And uh, yesterday we had quite a bit of an adventure, Com finally completing Anor Londo. Uh, it took me like two videos to get it done, but we did manage to kill the bosses, Ornstein and Smo, uh, on our second attempt. Not too bad, I was expecting it will be the first. Well, I was also expecting that it would not go well in our favor. In my favor, I mean. Because uh, I was using a basic weapon, the Claymore. Even though it's plus 10. <laughs> and a basic armor set. Somehow, with zero Astros Flask, on my second try, I still somehow managed to beat the bosses. And this was, in fact, one of the toughest boss fights. In the entire Souls series. One of them. It's one of the toughest. Not the toughest. There are other ones who are much tougher. But still. Uh, this one's like one of the, you know, top ones on the list. And, you know, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling excited that I finally managed to do that. So now, we are back here. We got the uh, Lord Vessel from uh, Princess Guinevere. From that castle. Um... So with the Lord Vessel, I will be able to fast travel from some bonfires in the world to make my journey easier. So that, so that I don't have to like walk all the way from here to the entirety of, uh, you know, the Lord Run map on foot. Um, so let's get started with part 10 proper and see where we can go. Because we have now the Lord Vessel which will unlock some additional areas for us to explore um so we'll have lots of options to choose from which makes me wonder which should be the best place for me to go at this point at my current level and you know weapon rank so let me before i do that let me talk to our friend here uh the onion knight or uh uh sigma of katarina or is it siegfried Forgot his name. Well, fancy meeting you here. You did much for me up above. I am grateful. You know, I was thinking the gate, the old fortress. Was that your doing? Yes. Yes, I knew it. It seemed like an unlikely coincidence. <laughs> well, am I fortunate? This knight of Katarina thanks you sincerely. Please, take this. As a token of my gratitude. Oh, why? Thank you. Uh, miracle emit force. There you are. Right. I'll be heading down below shortly. Down below. There's nothing worthwhile up above. No worries. Venturing is my life. I'm prepared for the worst. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's see what this uh, spell uh, says in this description. The one that uh, our friend gave. So, Amit Force. Outland Miracle, foreign to the Way of White. Amit Shockwave. Considered an alternative uh, branching of Force. Amit's an exploding shockwave or Okay, so it can be used in some cases uh, where you know you can just use a spell to knock off people off balance or off the ledge. It's kind of useful in PvP arenas. Or, you know, like in PvP modes where actual players are coming in to kill you, you use a shockwave and they just, you can throw them off the ledge and they'll die instantly. Um, right then, let's uh, try to revive the bonfire, the firekeeper lady here, because we have her soul. Return firekeeper soul, yes, I want to do that. Return firekeeper soul to its owner and there she is back. Thank you. I am Anastasia of Astora. Now I can continue my duty as a keeper. But what? I only hope that my impure tongue does not offend. Oh no, it's not like that. Impure tongue? No, no. You're pure of heart? The fact that she's like caged up and still wants to perform her duties admirably, that's, you know, more than I can ask for, so... Forgive me. I am impure. 
My tongue never intended for restoration. Um. Please, if you have any heart, leave me be. I wish not to speak. Okay. I'll leave then. Impure tongue. I don't know what, why she would imply that. Huh. Um. Okay then. What do you have here? Good luck. Read the message up. Oh no no no! Don't hit the our onion bro here. Comfort. Okay. Now the shield. I'm not sure if I need the shield at this point. I might just go back to using my my parry shield because because uh, you know parry shield is nice. This is a, is this a great shield? It is a great shield. Can I parry with it? Let me see. Oh no, wait. Doesn't matter. I don't have the strength to wield it. I will use the spider shield. Oh, will I use the boulder shield? No, let's use the boulder shield. Alright, I'm gonna be using the boulder shield for now. Enemy ahead. Oh, what's that? Something's on the right. I can kind of see that. Uh, wait. What was it that I saw? Or was it an illusion or something? I saw something like a white fog or some shit. Can I? Never mind. Let's talk to this guy here. Oh, hello there. You've been a stranger these days. Why? What? What? What spectacular pyromancy? Tell me about it. I, I, I have never seen anything like it. I see. I suppose I was mistaken. In any case, I definitely trust you. Apologies, my friend. Forget that I said anything. My teacher, whom I imagine still resides in the Great Swamp, had a funny way of putting it. He said that pyromancy is the ultimate fantasy. Hmm. We are born in the dark and warmed by fire, but this fire we cannot touch. Those whose fascination with fire persists learn to hold it in their own hand. He rather had a way with words, the old withering frog. Okay. In this land, pyromancers earn a certain respect. The Witch of Isolith, one of the legendary lords, is the godmother of pyromancy. So the day I became undead, I was ecstatic. I felt as if I'd been chosen to attune myself to the ancient arts. Of course, it wasn't all that romantic in the end. Why? Tell me. I see. I'm going to forget. Um... Goodbye then. Be safe, friend. Don't you dare go. So, he asked me about something about my pyromancy. Um, he saw in me. I said no, that I don't want to like tell him where I found it because if I do, he's gonna go down to the uh, the depths and that blight uh, uh, at the bottom of the blight town uh, area, and he's gonna get killed or he's gonna become hollow. If I do that, he's gonna be fascinated by what I found, and in in an attempt to find uh, one of those pyromancy flames for himself, he will most definitely get killed. And I don't want that to happen to him. Anyway, um, I'll talk to this guy here, the serpent, primordial serpent that uh, uh, whenever you're told to talk to in order to, uh, uh, to ascend uh, or succeed Lord Gwyn. Heavens! You have done it. You have retrieved the Lord Vessel. After a thousand years, it is you. It is really you. Okay then, brother. Let's <sighs> chill. <coughs> I know you're excited. Forgive me. I really should calm down. Yeah, you really should. Now, let us take that vessel on a journey. I assume that you are ready. Now, be still. 
Uh, he's gonna deep throat me. <laughs> oh god. Rip. Um. That happened. <laughs> yep, that's how the. <laughs> that's how you fast travel here. I mean, not not. In general, but uh, with this him. This is the Fire Lake Chamber for the successor of Lord Gwyn. Now, place the Lord Vessel on the altar. Okay, then let's, uh, if you say so. Also, how the fuck did you keep that in your pocket all this time? This huge fucking bowl, right? <laughs> that's the that's a question. Epic cuts in. Oh yeah. A beam of light radiated above. And it's gonna open up the path to some of the other areas that I was that was ex inaccessible before this point. All right, so that's the areas that I need to visit. Let's just for the bonfire. All right, let's talk to him and I'll explain to you what happened. Very well. As King Seeker, I shall now instruct you, the Lord's successor, in your next task. To achieve your fate, fill the vessel with powerful souls, the commensurate to the great soul of wind. Hmm. Scarce few possess such brilliant souls. Grave Lord Nito. The Witch of Isolith, the Four Kings of New Londo, who inherited the shards of Gwyn's soul, and Lord Gwyn's former confidant, Seath the Scaleless. Right. All of their souls are required to satiate the Lord Vessel. Are you ready? Then we shall return. Stay still for a moment. He's gonna deep throat me again. There must be a better way to travel between this place. Alright then, we're back up top. Um, here goes, and there goes his mustache thingy flying off from his face. I am pleased to see you well. Is it something urgent? Uh... The beings who possess these souls have outlived their usefulness. Outlived their usefulness? Or have chosen the path of the wicked. Okay. As the primordial serpent, I implore you to defeat them and claim their souls. Let there be no guilt. Let there be no vacillation. Vacillation. The beings who possess the... As... Let there... Okay. Farewell. Chosen undead, I remain here and await thee. Sure. Right, so then, um, what just happened, I'll tell you. So I managed to kill Ormstein and Small in Ano Londo, uh, got up to the lift, met uh, Princess Guinevere, who told us that we need to succeed, well, overrule our kind of like rule over and succeed Lord Gwyn um, because you know we are the chosen undead and we somehow have the power to undo all the damage done to the world where us as the undead the chosen undead we can use our power to uh, kindle the bonfire the like, like the primal the primal bonfire to like, continue the age of light and keep age of darkness at bay Something like that. Because, um, you know, in the age of dark, everything is consumed. All will be consumed by the dark. Humans, undead, everything will be like 
just destroy their minds, like just completely wiped and bad shit, basically. Um, and in order to do that, she gave us the Lord Vessel, which we placed uh, by after talking with this guy, Primordial Serpent here, uh, all the way down below. Now, our job is to harvest and gather the great souls from four great lords in this kingdom, in this land. So they are uh, Grave Lord Nito, um, the Witch of Isolith, um, the Four Kings of New Londo Ruins, uh, and the. Uh, who's the other one? Oh, and Sith the Scaleless. So I need to be venturing into four different territories, four different lands and uh, you know, areas to kill the enemies and ultimately kill the bosses of those areas, which is going to be a task and a half on its own. It's going to be a bit, well, quite difficult. Um, so I've been thinking that where I should be going first, right? Uh, let's talk to this guy. Uh. Give me a fatty. Uh. Oh, you again? Me? Uh. I've become separated from my lady. I've scoured near and far, but no sight of her. Where could she have gone? My lady, to think I swore to protect you with my life. Hmm. Your Highness, where have you gone? I am entirely to blame for this. Oh, woe is me. I am unworthy, deathly so. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Miracles, was it? Sometimes I lose myself. Pay me no mind. Right. Okay, I don't need this. I don't need this. Yeah, so I've been thinking where I should be going first because some of the areas, even now, for me, is going to be a bit of a challenge or, or it's going to be high level areas. And there are other places where. Um, I need to go. Wait, why, why, why am I going there? Um, oh yeah, uh, there are other places, other secret areas I need to be going to get some items to kill some of the extra bosses, the additional secret bosses. Right? Because I want to complete this entire game before the end. So I don't wanna, like, uh, don't wanna, oh shit. Keep, keep anything for, you know, don't want to leave anything to chance. So that being said, I think for today, I will go to the undead area and kill the bosses that kill the, or attempt to kill the Gravelord Nito boss. Because uh, other places are a bit more higher level than uh, my current status so it's gonna be a bit more difficult for me to deal with them so i think that's gonna be better for me so uh, what i came here for is to well, forge uh, a forge and forge like a divine weapon because in order to kill some of the undead people in the area that i'm about to go I will need a divine weapon because undeads, some of them, well, most of them in the area, they can be resurrected over and over again by a necromancer, even after I kill them. But if I kill them with a divine weapon, they won't be able to uh, be resurrected back again after I kill them at once. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. But I need to select, find a weapon to change it into a divine weapon now that is the question that which weapon i'm going to be using for that hmm i'll most likely use a great sword should i use a great sword there i can use a flame version i'll be seeing you big but let me just test right test the animation of these weapons here wait i cannot wield the flame version why not I need 14 decks, I have 13. 
I can just like uh, use one of the Astros, uh, not the Astros, like souls to. Uh, let me just see how this is. Eh. Just try the Great Soul. Oh boy, this one's a bit too slow for my taste. I don't wanna. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Falcon is a strength weapon or what? Oh, this is a dex, dex weapon. Shit. Now, kinda. I am kinda. Torn between what I should be using. I have a halberd here. Hmm, I could use a halberd. Hmm. Hmm. Now, nah, I'll just use the great sword there. I'll just use a great sword. Let's see how much stamina does it take. Alright. Fine. Hello again. Use it needed. Reinforce this weapon to plus five. Oh, I need Titan and Shards. Shit. Alright. Reinforce the weapon. Plus one. Plus two. Need one more. Don't get yourself night. Gotta pop more souls. Um, use this. Ten thousand souls, nice. Well, you need buy one. Reinforce. Need one more. Well, you need. Let me clear this up. Force I need three three tightness shards there and that should get me to plus five. Now I can modify the great sword into I need fucking green oh no Green Titanite Shard. Hmm. Don't get yourself not. Right, uh, where do I find the Green Titanite Shard? Let me... I think I have an idea. Just warp. Um... Chamber of... The princess. I think I remember uh, seeing a green titanite shard purchase from the giant uh, blacksmith there. And if I don't find it from him, I can most certainly find it from the uh, Iron Tarkas. Or was it what, what was his name? I forgot his name though, but something like that. From Sense Fortress, where I had to jump the ledge. Uh, you know, by stripping my armor, it's either him or the giant dude there. So let's see which one is uh, the correct one. Of course, I'll have to avoid all the shit. Go, 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 go. I want to be here. Nope. 100 damage? Holy shit. Pathetically low, but three hundred damage. Holy shit! That's a lot. Okay, I'm beginning to like this great sword here. Hmm. All right. Blacksmith ahead. Nice. Let's just hope and pray that this is the one. Otherwise, I'll have to backtrack some more. Two other places I don't want to go. Mm. Hello, Forge I can. Strong I am. Yep, I know. 
Yes. Just as expected, but these are fucking expensive. Four thousand eight hundred. Oh shit. And a large titanite shard cost uh, three thousand eight hundred. Holy crap, man! I might have to come back here again because. Uh, Because after uh, upgrading my uh, wait, let me just after upgrading my uh, weapon to divine weapon. If I want to upgrade it further, like let's say I want to do it plus one, plus two. Not sure which item will be required. Uh, will it be green titanite or will it be something else? Because if it's green titanite, I'm gonna have to like. Harvest a whole lot of souls. Well, Let's see. Let's see uh, what happens. So modify weapon from great sword to divine great sword. I have a green titanite shard and 800 souls. I have that. So let's do that. Done. So I have a divine great sword, not to reinforce great sword. What will I need? There we go. I'll need fucking divine. I'll need a uh, green. Titanite shards. Don't get yourself not. Okay then. Huh. Time to pop all of my souls. I don't wanna do that, but it has to be done. It's okay. These are the you know, these why this is why I Keep these souls handy in case you know in case we uh, need them for purposes like this. Alright, that should be enough. I don't wanna use everything. Because uh, some of the souls I might need it again later. Um, I wanna reserve some for emergency cases. If I only need to like uh, level up at a pinch, or I need some souls uh, like immediately for some special purpose. Oh god! So I need to keep some to myself and not blow it on everything, or not blow it on you know buying a certain item. So this uh, sword is going to be used for a specific purpose only, for killing the undead. Uh, uh, other than that, I'll be using it for like general purpose. Uh, I, I, I won't be using other swords for general purpose uh, attacks, right? Or you know, when I'm going to other areas, I won't be using this sword in particular. It's not doing enough damage. Oh shit! Nope. Nope. I'm out of here. <laughs> bye bye. You know, I could just farm uh, souls, right? Eh. Don't wanna. Like, what I'm trying to do in this game, in this playthrough, is like not go mid max. Um, wait, let me buy... How many of them should I buy? That's my question. Four should be enough. Yeah, like, I don't want to, like, mid-max mid my build. So, by mid-max, what, what's mid-max? Mid-maxing is just optimizing your uh, build to the perfection, where you'll be, like, have the best stat, like, the, the right amount of strength, the right amount of weapon damage, the right amount of everything, the perfect of everything, depending on every scenario. I don't want to do that. I just want to go for the basic stuff and just show you guys that this game is not necessarily quote unquote difficult, but once you just master the basics of the game or just master the game's uh, gameplay mechanics to the fullest, you can in fact beat the game as it is without having to like grind for days or keep dying and you know all the hassle that goes into playing this game you won't be 
facing them if you play it correctly. If you understand what this game is about and how to play this game the way it should be played. Okay. Oh no 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 no. What am I doing? This one. So divine great sword plus one. Uh, let's do that. I'll get it plus two. Plus three. All right. Um, shit. I need two more. Huh? Don't get yourself night. <sighs> so without having to like blow up like everything to build like my perfect build in every single way. So I, I don't want to do that. Having said that. I do want to make it a bit easy on myself. Uh, like, I don't want to go like full naked build, like, you know, like the deprived build, where it just use a basic club, no armor and anything. I, I, I don't want to do that. So, but still, as you can see, I'm not like wearing anything fancy. I have a great sword with me, I have a boulder shield, I just used the claymore, and I'm still going to continue using the claymore as long as I can to beat the entire game, I think. Uh, well, we can upgrade it, of course, to plus 15. Plus 15 is the maximum amount of time, like 15 times you can upgrade a weapon. Same goes for, no, the armor, I think, oh shit, I get crushed. The armor, I think I can go get it up to plus, I don't know, I, I don't know, I think the armor I can also get it to plus 16, I forgot. Uh, but either way, nope. Yeah, I want you to come up here. Shit. No. God oh, damn it. There's the parry, there's the post. Nice. Some souls. I used to do that when I played the game in the beginning uh, since I couldn't like beat the enemies uh, fast enough or I was having difficulty I would grind the shit out of this game like you know just build my stat to the fullest increase my health bar increase my strength like get my weapon all the way up ridiculous amount just to beat the boss uh, so I would just try to brute force this game into winning instead of using my brain um, but now I know about the game more I know what to do how all the things work uh, basically the game mechanics um, and which is why it's easier for me now to figure out uh, that okay, these enemies have these attack patterns. These enemies enemies will be uh, weak to certain types of weapon or certain types of magic or you know uh, something. So I can exploit that. Um, you come wait. Shiny, shiny, <laughs> get shiny from Duke. Forge weapons, make shiny more. Lol. Okay, we can get some shiny then. <laughs> shiny, shiny. All right, three of them. And that's what this game is about. Uh, you can block, for sure. You can dodge, uh, but that's not the point. There are people who doesn't use any shield, who doesn't like use any dodging they just like just know what to do because they're just familiarized with the game to such a degree that uh, they don't even have to like uh, think that much all right so I have my divine great sword to plus four that should be good enough for now um, I could complete this area below me and there are some ways to go, you know, some other ways to go about, uh, other than the one I'm doing. I'll do that later. For now, let's just go back to Farling Shrine and get started. 
I kind of wasted some time doing all this thing, but anyway. Uh... There you are. I'll be heading down. There's nothing worth. No worries. <laughs> right. Okay then. Stop. This is gonna be start of the uh, route for undead. I forgot what the name of this area is. Tomb of the Giants, maybe? Or catacomb mm. catacombs? Catacombs, I think. And this guy's sleeping now, so I don't want to disturb him. As you can see, he's not dead, he's just sleeping. Lol. Soul of Lost and Dead, alright. Obviously, there are areas I haven't explored yet, some secret areas. I'll be doing that later, don't worry. Um, first, you need to finish off the critical parts before I venture off into the uh, other places. Because, like, you know, I want to keep things entertaining, I want to keep the action going um, before I do those nitty gritty. Some of those areas will be high level, other areas will be tedious, so uh, I'll leave that for later. So, these guys, they are undead skeletons, and as you can see, they are shambled. They're just scattered all over, but as soon as I go near them, they'll re reanimate and and this is why I use the great sword because uh, and a divine great sword at that because every time I hit them they'll break apart in chunks you know the the, the blowback from the hit it is quite a lot. As you can see, yeah. So these are the divine weapon. Uh, this is a divine uh, great sword. So they won't be able to come back to life after this, uh, even if they wanted to. Soul of a large soul of a lost dead. Let's explore the graveyard area here. See what we can find. This giant. There is a giant. Uh, skeleton here but as I said because we have a great sword no matter what kind of skeleton it is giant or regular size each hit uh, that I connect with these guys they will break apart and by breaking apart they won't be able to attack me right? so um, just like so so it's gonna be to my advantage Every time they break apart, I can just walk into them and start swinging. Just like that, you see? Easy. And I got the Zweihander. Uh, excellent. So let's read the item description for, oh, I mean not the item, the weapon, the weapon description for Zweihander. It is a two-handed sword. Uh, Zweihander literally means two-handed two -handed sword or two-handing. Um, so, ultra great sword, one of the gigantic straight uh, great swords. As the name suggests, the Zweihander is held with two hands, but its wielder must still be inhumanly strong. It is this great weight that sends flow foes flying when it hits solidly. So uh, yeah, my great sword here is also very good because let me show you like, the stats here. So this divine great sword plus four, it has physical attack of one hundred and sixty-seven plus twenty-six bonus from uh, from strength as well as dexterity as well as magic damage. Ah, this is like a you know. A bonus damage on top of the uh, regular damage because you know the great sword itself doesn't have any magic damage but since it's divine I've uh, modified it to divine weapon uh, it has 203 plus 6 203 base magic damage and plus 6 uh, bonus so yeah it's working out quite well so far in my favor and I think I have a binocular here, um, obviously self-explanatory uh, what the binocular is, but I will just still 
I'll show you the description here because uh, why not? Used to peer at distant scenery. Binocular made of brass used to peer at distant scenery. This advanced uh, device was built by a famous craftsman of Astora. Its utility is singular, but its applications many. The value of these specs depends greatly on the imagination of its of their owner. So binocular, you can use it as an item. So it's an unlimited item, not a used use based item. So you can use it anytime to look into the distance, see you know if you spot anything. But you can also use it as a range finder. So for example, let's say you want to use uh, shoot an arrow at an enemy of the distance, right? But the way the game works, it's not gonna like like show you the exact reticule if you place your crosshair to in order to hit the enemy or there might be some tricky uh, you know shot that you want to make with the arrow or maybe some item like bombs fire bombs and all that so you can use the binocular as a rangefinder angle yourself uh, at the right uh, angle with the binocular and then change to the item you want to use or the weapon you want to use or the you know things like that and you can just use that attack it's going to hit, hit its mark. So I've seen on YouTube some people use the binocular in very various, uh, you know, creative ways. So that's what this uh, description was saying that you can use the binocular in many creative ways as well, which is great. Because usually we wouldn't think of that. Uh, oh God, we wouldn't really think of using them for purposes like that. But now we can. I'm not gonna use those items in that creative way. I just want to keep things simple. Uh, there's a flying head that's exploding, and of course, if I go near them, I'm gonna take damage. I don't wanna uh, do that. Th that's, those are like one-time weapon, uh, one-time enemies. They just explode once and they're gone. So they're not gonna. They will come back if I respawn, but uh, still. Let me try to parry this guy. Oh god. Okay then. Oh, these guys are pretty quick, huh? Huh! Nope. Nope. Hmm. Perry! Fuck no. These guys are tough cookies. Damn it. Nope, still didn't manage to parry. Oh, come on. I fell off. All right, fine. Very hard to parry these guys. Come on, then. There's the parry. Fucking a. 510 damage, holy shit. Whoa, okay. Missed. Parry! Oh, no parry for me. Parry! God damn it. Oh no. Fuck it. I um, want to parry these guys seriously. There we go. Oof, that damage though. God damn. Right, so we are now in the undead catacombs area. And this guy is a fucking necromancer. That will be. Well, if I didn't have a divine weapon, he would be constantly resurrecting all these uh, skeletons here to give me a pain in the ass. I don't want that to happen. Let me see the uh, the bonfire name here. Can I? Can I? Can I check the bonfire name? I cannot. 
but uh, regardless. So this lever will open the door beyond this place here. All right, they uh, got resurrected. Time to parry you. Come on then. These, the way they're standing right now, if I attack them, they're gonna parry me. And just as I was saying, they parried me. And I, I was a dumbass for even trying. God damn you! Just. There's a the parry. Uh, what ring do I have equipped? I have the Havel's ring and the ring of the evil eye. All right, good stuff. Weakness caster, yes. Try kicking. Whoa. All right. Holy shit. Okay, okay. Wait, where are you going off to? Oh, I don't want you to go anywhere. I'm a bit low on health. Still, I don't necessarily need to uh, chug an Estus Flask. Because the reason I say that, I can just kill the enemies here and get a little bit of my health back. But at the same time, I don't want to risk it though. <laughs> Alright, you then. Anyone? Come here then. Yeah. Huh. Dead. Need to kill this guy here. Wait! Do not fucking run away from me, bitch. Don't! He did run away from me. Where are you running, bitch? No, you got the backstab. You're dead. more people died so this is the optimal route for me to take here right now because like the level that i'm in currently is uh suitable to beat all of the enemies here without too much of a hassle right as you can see they're not doing much damage to me either like, i can just tank whatever damage they're doing and get the get my life back by killing them. I get the Lucern, the Lucern. Uh, let's read the description for that. This is a weapon, a spear weapon from what I can tell. Mm, yeah. So it's a halberd and a thrust weapon. So halberds with a large hard beak like uh, protrusion inflicts thrust damage. Instead of thrusting like a spear, the wielder of the Lucerne aims to club the head of its hard beak. So it's going to be using either this side or that side to be hammering the enemies in the head, which is, you know, like a, from, a, from an angle, uh, from a vertical angle. Okay, uh, this one, more undead corpses everywhere. This guy is clinging to a statue, or this guy, I mean, the skeleton here. Um, Right, anything over here. We have a archer guy here, which I'm gonna destroy. Oh shit. So oh, you just died in one hit. Nice. Alright. I got the large soul of a nameless soldier. Okay. So there are more oh boy, there 
this bridge is kind of closed off until I open it for you know with the lever. So I need to do that. I don't want to just attract these fuckers here. Okay then. You as well. Nice. So these statues here, they're a trap. Uh, well, they'll, they'll spring a trap, the spike trap here. And you died. So that's why I need to like keep my shield up. So I don't trigger this uh oh shit. Yeah yeah, I'm gonna backstab you then. No I don't. Oh never mind. How about now? Nah. It's fine. Just kill you like normal enemies without having to like worry about backstab. Anything else behind me? No? no. What's this? Soul of a proud knight, nice. Now I'm going to push this lever, which will open that, uh, that uh, rotate that uh, bridge over there. All right, there are places to go down to, uh, but not like that. If you don't want to go straight down; you're gonna die. However, I need to distract these fuckers here. Nope. You come to me then. And you died. You as well. Dead. Nice, nice. Your turn, Mr. I wanna throw fireballs at uh, my enemies. And you fucking die. Holy shit. Oh god, I almost died. Holy fuck. Careful, careful, careful. Don't want, don't want to die at this point. There is a trap here. I don't want to spring the trap. But do you want to go down? Okay, you're dead. Uh... Right, this uh, place is... oh fuck. This place is gonna become a bit dark in a moment. So you need to be wary of that. That's just the nature of the game. Because this is a catacomb and it's gonna go down even uh, below where we are now. So there's not gonna be any light sources for quite a while. That being said, there are ways to light up the area. Okay then. You. Yeah, I know your fucking. Oh shit. I know your trick. I'm not falling for that. Yeah. Come here. Oh fuck. Why am I, why am I there? Nope. Dead. I got soul of a proud knight. Block those spike attacks. Now I can venture even below. What's this then? Can I open it? Nope, I cannot. But I can go down. What the hell? Oh shit. Do not fucking drop down. Hmm. Uh, that did something. There is a way for you to drop down there below. Uh, there's a secret area, a secret uh, blacksmith you can interact with. But that's gonna kind of uh, break the chain of events that I want to do. So I'll do that later. Also, there is another secret area somewhere. I can break through a wall somewhere around here. Was it down below? 
No, it's here. Oh, that is not the. That's not the one, though. There is something else. Alright, let me see. Try jumping? No, I don't think I will. Oh boy. Let's not drop down to our jet. Great sight. Let's drink some Custis glass. It's... No, it's not this one either. Alright, let's kill them first. And you? Oh, I think I remember. I think it's here. God damn it. Die already. down all the way down below but again do not want to do that and you my friend you're not gonna bait me into attacking you at this state if you if you're gonna parry me i don't want that to happen you're dead all right this is the one oh yeah right i forgot i just remembered yeah take the bonfire here oh shit why am i even here the oh, fuck, I just totally took the wrong direction here. Oh no. Um. Shit. There's a way to uh, fix this, hopefully. Hopefully I'll be able to go up. Whoop. Shit. You're dead. Nice. Not to worry, I can kill you in one shot. Village Court, Dark Moon, Seance Ring. Let's see what, what that is. It's a ring, obviously. So the, uh, the description here of the Dark Moon Seance Ring grants additional attunements slot. This ring is granted to adherents of uh, Gwendolyn, the Dark Moon deity, and the last one of Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight, grants additional magic attunement slots. The Dark Sun Gwendolyn is the only remaining deity in Anorlando his followers are few, but their tasks are of vital importance. Okay. Secret ahead. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to go up all the way because the bridge is the intended route that I was supposed to take. I uh, kind of fucked it up. So uh, it's not going to be good for me. Hmm. Uh, I don't want deal with your bullshit and nope backstab 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 there's the backstab overkill but whatever i like backstabbing people not in real life but <laughs> in the game <laughs> up sure let's go up all right and that's gonna take me somewhere. Okay. Strong poison ahead. Uh, miracle. Tranquil walk of peace. Oh, that's the PvP item, I believe. It's gonna slow you down. Like, slow down the enemies. Um, so this one. 
Uh, Outland Miracle, foreign to the way of white, slows all walking within effect area. This miracle is normally used to flee as it slows down walking but does not affect attacks but nonetheless defines peace perfectly. So you remember the stone golem there on the uh, dark root forest? Those are stone golem who were sleeping and woke up and they used some magic wielding their sword up and they created a like a yellow circle aura which slowed us down. Similar, similar to that spell, so it, it would come in handy for PV, like you know, like actual PvP situations where uh, you know that you have an invader who's trying to charge at you. You're gonna use that spell. They're gonna be, they won't be able to roll. They won't be able to run. So you can use that slow movement to your advantage and uh, try to kill them. I think you can also work on the uh, the the actual enemies here as well who knows i haven't tried this spell on regular enemies but uh, maybe maybe it works there too okay then so now what do i do do i go here um, yes that is the intended route for me to take there is a secret bonfire here in literally wall ahead that's the one in question There it is. The bonfire. I need to level up my character just a little bit. I have not the soul there to do that. Which is unfortunate. Hmm. I have three humanity, but I don't want to use them to become a human. I don't want to get invaded by actual people here. Not in this games. Invasion in this game sucks. If they're gonna destroy me, I'll have to walk all the way back and then, yeah. Don't like that. Shit. I'm also contemplating whether or not should I, if I, um, whether or not if I should be kindling this bonfire. I don't think I need to. I'll be fine. Because the, uh, I'm co already quite powerful for this area. So that means that, you know, I won't get... I won't take all too much damage against uh, what's to come ahead. All the enemies and all. So yeah. I'm good to go. Alright. Going down. I already cleared up this area here. Whoa, 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 chill, buddy, chill, chill. Also, I did, uh, I didn't drop down to the blacksmith area here. Oh, shit. Come here, then. What are you doing? Fuck. Fuck. I didn't drop down to the secret blacksmith area because uh, I'm going to miss the intended route. What is this guy doing? I think it's a glitch. He, he glitched out. Never mind. Finally exploded. Alright. 13,000 souls. Not too bad. There is. Now comes the dark part, well, the darker part. Now there's gonna be a titanite demon here in front of me just in a few seconds. There you go. Then you can see the outline, try a range battle. No, I'm just gonna go for it. Hopefully it's gonna turn out all right. There is the titanite demon. Holy shit, not doing much damage. Take 
some life. And you're dead. All right. Two thousand souls, not bad. Eye of Death. There is a secret covenant I can join if I wanted to. It's here, I think. No, I don't see it. Um, Grave Lord Nito. So I can just nestle in a coffin here and join the Grave Lord Nito covenant. I don't want to go for that, actually. It's like, eh. So he's a boss, but you can join him as a covenant uh, wielder. You know, so I don't want to go for that. Never really much cared about covenants for Dark Souls 1 in the first place. There are some covenants that are quite cool. Like, uh, the one with the forest of the fallen something. Forest of the... The forest covenant, I mean. That one's pretty cool. Because uh, in that covenant... Okay. Whenever enemies uh, just join that area, or just, you know, enemies just, you know, enter that area, you'll be summoned immediately, or almost immediately, to attack them and kill them. So that's fun. Um, we can drop down there. I don't want to. Wait, where's the intended route here? Oh, there. Um, also, Anorlando. Anorlando may have a covenant as well, where if anyone tries to invade or try to like get into this place. Oh shit. Holy shit! Almost died there. Okay. I got the skull lantern. Nice. Shit, I almost died there. This shield is really not that good against fire damage. Oh well. Right then. Now for me to drop down here. And I fucking find this. Black Knight, which I'm going to backstab. Backstab! Holy shit. And he's dead. <laughs> White Titanite Chunk. I have three Estus Flask, not good. It's all of a proud knight. Luckily, the boss of this area, the first area, I mean. It's not that difficult. These fuckers are. Oh. I don't do not want to be near this thing. So these are the pinwheel enemies. So they'll be using the roly poly attacks. Uh, I mean, they'll just roll for days and try to like kill me, as you can see. Like so. However, I know how to how to beat them. It's a sidestep out of the way. Just like that and fucking destroy them. See both of them are dead. Alright. Great stuff. Problem is 
There's some item upstairs, but I need to drop them from above. I don't want to do that. Um, well, here is what I'm going to do at this point. So this is the boss. This is the pinwheel demon or the pinwheel enemy. I'm not sure if it's a demon or not. What I'm going to do is have some... Uh, I'll remove that. I will remove... No, I won't remove that. I will have some of the uh, Divine Blessing equipped in case I'm low and need some emergency help. But I think it should be good to go. Oh, but this... Uh, I remember this uh, enemy uses magic attack. So let's see if I have anything good against magic. Hmm. Forty on magic, eighty. Uh, this means it needs a lot of shield. I mean strength. Fifty-five. Yeah, let's go for that. I guess. Yeah, let's just go for that. All right. Boss ahead. Occult ahead. All right. Oof. Let's go. So this is the pinwheel, not the pinwheel, I forgot his name. I think pinwheel, right? So he's a, he's one of the one who's uh, reanimating the dead. Um, for this area. He's a necromancer, kind of. Yeah, he's Pinwheel. Okay, then. And, of course, he's a magician. And he's gonna die. Need one more attack, so he creates illusion of himself. Oh god. Oh, and he's dead. <laughs> Easiest boss fight ever. Dead. GG. By the right of kindling, you may now kindle bonfire. Uh, uh, kindle beyond normal limit. Alright. Right of kindling, humanity, homeward bone. Excellent. Right. So, mask of the father. I got 15,000 souls. Holy shit. Okay. So, by killing this boss here, what should I say? So, by killing this boss here, I can now kindle my bonfire to uh, plus four. So, I can kindle it like the default is plus five. I mean, the default is default. I can kindle it three additional times to get uh, 20 Estus Flask charges from any bonfire I choose because the default is 10. I can kindle it once and it, it will give me 10 Estrus Flask if each time I uh, rest. But now with the kindling, I can do it like, I can get like 20 Flask charges. Oh, so that's great. Now, what's not great is the fact that this place is gonna be fucking dark and I'm not gonna be able to use a shield because uh, in order to see in the dark, I will need an item called the Skull lantern here so i'm gonna read the description here in a bit uh so this is a lantern um so skull lantern of the catacombs uh necromancer droops from his long uh, beard locks this lantern alights the tomb of the giants nito's light devouring domain of death uh, also serves as a fire damage strike weapon uh, so as you see i have this weapon equipped on my left hand so if i block it or is it is the uh, attack that uses to block shield i'm gonna be holding that lantern as a light source device which will help me to light the path ahead and show me where i need to go okay because uh 
yeah, this place is a bit of a mess. There's a lot of you know, skeleton enemies ahead. So I need to navigate this place very carefully and not fall to my death. Um, front. Imminent Ember. Like you can see, without the skull, it's gonna be almost impossible to navigate through this area. You can see the ledge here. If I drop down, I'm, I'm dead. So again, extra careful. Try weapon. Tomb of the Giants. Oh, shit. The problem is, there is no bonfire here, is it? There isn't any fucking bonfire. As far as I'm concerned. Which is a bit of a problem. And there's a fucking giant enemy. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, boy. Do not fucking drop down. I have 35,000 or 36,000 souls. I don't, why am I fucking risking all of this shit? I'm gonna be so upset if I die here. Also, what's that? And I drop down to that ledge. Hmm. Hmm. I don't even know what I'm doing. <sighs> okay, so if I use that thingy, I kind of don't want to risk this whole thing. All right, fuck it. I want to get out of there. I don't have any flask, but I do have the bonfire. Fucking A. That's the one I was looking for here. Oof, okay. 36,000 souls. I don't want to lose this. Alright, so I'm going to kindle myself. Oh, I need to reverse hollowing. Kindle. Hmm. Question is, should I kindle it to plus 20 uh, to get the 20th to flask here, or is there another bonfire? I need to remember. Uh, I do not think. Okay, there is actually. There is. But I'll still uh, kindle to plus 10. Yeah. Uh, that's good enough. Uh, now I'm going to get my strength to 37. Not too bad. Again, <laughs> cannot use a shield because you know this place is really dark. So I have to like just resort to this lantern here. Be have to be more extra careful. Okay. I will continue down this path tomorrow. There are still a lot of uh, a lot of areas to explore in this place alone, which I kind of skipped. Uh, again, I need to go back and uh, do like a 100% completion run towards the end of this uh, Let's Play. So all the items that I missed, I'll go back, redo the whole area, get the item that I missed, and then, you know, we'll see what happens from there. So that's going to be it for Dark Souls Part 10 for today. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it and see you tomorrow then. Take care.